G'day everyone, John the Wickler Bob here for Rugby Wrap Up in beautiful sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. Sin City, if you will. Uh, and we had some good, good fun here, and we'd like to share some of that fun with you right now. Jonathan Wickley Barbary here with Wales star Richie Pugh. Richie, uh, it's good to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, it's good to uh, good to be here. Yeah, Richie, uh, I understand that you're one of the few players out there that plays both 15s and 7s. That's correct. Yeah, I play back home for uh, Welsh region, Netley Scarlets. I play 7 in 15s and uh, hooker, prop, your forward in 7s. 7 in 15s is arguably the best position on the rugby pitch? Yeah, you go free roll to uh, kind of run around the field, uh, similar to the game of 7s, you know, just kind of get involved in all the actions and uh, and then come away to uh, these places and play 7s, love it. How did you become a rugby player, Richard? I think like most Welsh children, you know, you're kind of brought up on the sport, your parents kind of throw you into it at schools, you know, you've got a lot. Brinmill? Bryn Mill, that's right, yeah, Bryn Mill School in Swansea and just kind of brought up on the game and uh, loved it. It lived, you know, literally two minutes away from uh, the St. Helens ground in, uh, in where Swansea played. How do you get a name like Swansea? It sounds African, doesn't it? Uh, Swansea, I suppose, yeah, but, uh, well, Abertawi it is in Welsh, which uh, means the mouth of the river, but, uh, yeah, it, you know, it's translated to Swansea in English, so. How are you in your Welsh? I'm not the best, I'm not the best, I'll be honest. Uh, Tipping bark, speak a little bit. You've got a cap with Wales. That's right. One and only cap against the US in, I think it was 2005. Great moment for myself. Final score of that match? I think it was 77-0. It was actually 77-3, but that doesn't matter. Did you get a try? I did, I did score, yeah. One or two? Score. Just the one. Just Let's get to the had questions for you, Richie. New Zealand is uh, running away with the seven series so far. What do you have to do to catch them? It's just consistency in our performances. You know, we're, we're showing glimpses that we can really compete with the top, you know, I'd say the top four teams. Uh, you know, it's bouncing back after them defeats, really them close defeats and you know, winning the plate competitions. I'm going to start quizzing you now. Okay. Two conversions and a try. Nine points. Well, if it's two conversions, that means you've already got two tries. Right, so okay, yeah, yeah. That right. was a trick question. No, yeah, 14, there we are. You got me there. Too many blows to the head? <laughs> it's just one or two, yeah. It's few right. for Dick Smith? Dick Smith, yeah, he likes to be called, yeah. Peck Deck. He's oh, got Peck a, Yeah, he's got a big chest. There's a poser on Facebook. Oh, yeah, he thinks he's a strong boy, but, uh, yeah, he's, you know, he hasn't got the arms. He's, he's got always, a missus. He's got, he's got a missus, Carly, which... Uh, He's always, you know, his celebration is the is the C, which he likes to think is for Cymru, which is Wales, but it's really for his girlfriend Carly back home. And uh, so we it's know kind that. of sad, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. kind of pathetic. Are you spoken for? Yes, yes, I am spoken for. Yeah, was Kids? On the way, on the way, got, she's, what, three months pregnant, four months pregnant now. So boy, girl, you know, is it too don't, early? Don't know yet, don't know yet. So it's Jonathan Wickler of Barbary would make a great name for a little boy. I'll keep that in mind. That's definitely, you know, it's not the Welshest of names, but... Uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Favourite team to play against? Love playing England because of the rivalry and I think... Oh, there's you know, a rivalry there, there is there? There is a rivalry where they're smaller next-door neighbours apparently and no, it's always good playing them. Just got to challenge yourselves against the top team. You know, Matthew Drew Turner does a column for us on Rugby Wrap-Up. He's a blanker, isn't he? <laughs> no, no, he's, he's on fire this year. You know, he's in one of those little rocks or something you can just go, uh, this is for Rugby wrap -up. No, I will do next time if I manage to get hold of him. I'm going to have to have to read now, see if he has anything to say about the Welsh, but no, his try record this year is, uh, is pretty special. Speaking of special what was your favorite thing about las vegas it's a special place to come you know yes the cheerleaders in the background yeah they're uh, pretty special yeah, it's but it's terrible uh, having it to is do terrible that. but it's a complete different new environment to rugby it's new to las vegas and las vegas i think is new to a lot of the rugby players you did know, you do a bit of the gambling did not very well it was unsuccessful uh and the welsh so. aren't as cheap as the scots oh definitely not no 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 they'll uh, more like the irish Oh, well, that's it. That's it. They would like to think we win more, a bit more than the Irish. Well, there's a question for you. Okay. What's with Ireland not having a sevens team? I really don't know. They, you know, they competed in the World Cup in uh, 2009, but they're missing out, I think. Speaking of the World Cup, Wales are the current champion in sevens. That's correct. Yeah, it was a special moment for me. I was involved in that team, yes. along with Lee Williams, who's still involved. Played some great rugby that day, and you know, we picked off New Zealand, Samoa and Argentina and uh, Unfortunately, you know, Elaine Roland was not refereeing and you weren't playing France in New Zealand. You could be refereeing me next week in the uh, Rabo Direct so I better not say uh, anything about that. Yeah, You're awfully good. diplomatic. Yes, He's not going to kiss El be. Elaine Roland so we'll do it for him <laughs> because we were rooting for Wales. So we're always rooting for Wales. Thank you, Mr. Richie Pugh, for being on Rugby Wrap Up. We'll see you again. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jonathan Wickler, Valerie for Rugby Wrap Up in Viva Las Vegas.